This is a French exchange student's life in Japan. This is Yuan, a 19 years old Frenchman studying at a Japanese university. He's enrolled in a Canadian university, but is currently attending a Japanese university on a four months exchange program. He lives in the university student dormitory. Usually back in Canada, I take breakfast, but since I'm in Japan, I just skip it because I don't have time. And also I don't want to bother buying like a bowl, the spoon, everything, the cereal. So I just wake up, brush my teeth and get ready and, and go to university. Have you got used to live here? Um, yeah, I think I've gotten used to living in Japan. Um, I have my morning routine. I like taking the train to go to university and hanging out uh, in weekends in Tokyo. I, I think I've gotten used to it. Yeah. Are you feeling good about living in Japan? Uh, yeah, I'm very happy, very grateful to be here. I think this exchange is going to be one of my highlights of my whole uni university life and maybe all my teenager years. So yeah, I'm very happy to be in Japan. How long is the study abroad period? Uh, my exchange was uh, four months, so I've arrived here end of August and I'm leaving end of December. What cultural differences have you noticed while living in Japan? Um, I think maybe the, the, the trains, how people are like so busy and everyone is just, they go in every morning, they look at their phones, it's very quiet but very um, respectful as well. It was in, it's way different back in Canada. What are your hobbies in Japan? Well, Tokyo is very unique. <laughs> I like just hanging out in Tokyo, like for example, like Akihabara or like Shinjuku, Shibuya. I think it's very unique to Japan. I don't think I'll be able to find that anywhere else. So that's why like Japan is very unique in that way. Do you like anime? Yeah, I like anime a lot, like Japanese culture in general as well, Japanese history. Uh, that's why I, I like to go to some shrines or some in Tokyo or outside. And yeah, of course, like anime with Akihabara and everything. Today, Yohan has no classes in the morning. So he and his friends are going to Sayama Memorial Park in Saitama Prefecture for sightseeing. In major cities like Tokyo and Saitama, trains are a prevalent means of transportation. Japanese trains are known for their precision and punctuality. Timetables are strictly adhered to, and trains arrive and depart almost to the same. This ensures that many people can move efficiently and swiftly. What do you think about public transportation in Japan? Oh well, it's nice in the sense that it's kind of frequent compared to the trains back in Australia uh -huh. and they mostly run on time, but I'll have to say that it's just way too expensive. Uh, way too expensive. So in general, it's very good, but it comes at a price. Like very expensive and very crowded. Like There's too much people. Like, just, it's not bearable. What about line up? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's very nice to see people being respectful and standing in line not trying to go over people so that's a good thing but uh, apart from that uh, even if they do stand up in line in the end it's you're very crushed when you enter the train so but it's still nice to see people lining up finally the trains arrive stay inside the air right when the train passes by and when you get on a train wait for the people to get off now let the fun begin One of the reasons why we're going to this park today is I only have three weeks left before I leave Japan. So I wanted to make the most out of it. And also it's autumn and the autumn colors are gonna fade. It's already December. So this is one of the last chances to see the park. So since I have the morning free today, that's why we're going to the park. Sayama Fudoji is a historic Buddhist temple in Sayama City, Saitama Prefecture, known for its beautiful gardens and tranquil ambience. It offers a glimpse into Japanese culture and history. The temple features a bell, symbolizing the spirits of Zen in a tranquil setting. It plays a crucial role as a signal for time and religious ceremonies.
burning incense stick at a temple signifies prayers, respect, and memorial for the departed. The fragrance creates a sacred atmosphere. This place is, we weren't expecting, we just came here for the park, but apparently there was a whole shrine with a lot of different things here, so that's very nice, very good surprise. Sayama Lake in Saitama offers scenic nature and lake-sized trolls, popular for fishing and boating. It's a serene escape. Where are you heading now? So apparently we check on Google Maps and right next next to the park there's Totoro Forest. Do you know Totoro? Yeah, I'm a big Ghibli fan. I watch pretty much all the Ghibli movies before coming to Japan. So I'm very excited to see the, the famous Totoro Forest. Which character do you like the best? Uh, well, in Totoro is Totoro itself. But my favorite Ghibli is Arigeti. Arigeti is my favorite Ghibli. Totoro's Forest, known as a setting for Hayao Miyazaki's My Neighbor's Totoro, features rush greenery and charming natural landscapes. I can't stop feeling excited! Finally, we arrived! The Totoro Forest is finally here. If I look close enough, I may find him somewhere. Mm. Yohan has arrived at the station near the university. Which university do you attend? My, uh, my university is uh, Hitotsubashi University and uh, we're going to the Koda uh, Kunitachi campus. Why did you choose Hitotsubashi University? Uh, to, be, to be honest, I had no real other choice. I wanted a university that was near the center of Tokyo. And because how Japanese school work, the only university I could go and have the same date as my home university was Hitotsubashi. So it was it wasn't really a choice, I pretty much had to. How do you feel about the choices you made? I'm very happy with my choice because I think Hitotsubashi is a great university. The campus looks stunning and uh, overall, even if it's a bit far from Tokyo, that's my only critic I can have of this university. Hitotsubashi University, located in Tokyo, is a global comprehensive university known for excellence in economics and social sciences. Yohan and his friends have lunch at the Gakushoku, also known in English as the school cafeteria. The Gakushoku is used by many Japanese students and offers delicious food at reasonable prices. What did you order? I ordered the Hirekatsu Kare. It's very good, very cheap. So this is what I usually take on Wednesdays because otherwise I don't eat at the cafeteria. But this one is very nice, so this is what I take. Hirekatsu curry is a Japanese curry dish featuring juicy and sea cut pork fillet. Enjoy the crispy texture and the perfect balance of spices. So now we're gonna head to my first house of the day. It's Japanese business tea. So it's, it's a kind of boring class, but at least it's a different topic from what I'm used to. So yeah, let's head for Japanese business. This is a classroom where he takes his classes. Today's class is for international students, and students from various countries are taking a class together. Two classes, Japanese business and world affair. 
very boring, fell asleep in the first half. But uh, my classes are very relaxed now. It's just gonna go head back home. Okay, let's go. Yoan is going home with his friends who live in the same dormitory. In the winter in Japan, many illuminations lights up the streets. So I'm gonna just grab a quick thing to eat on Lawson because I'm gonna wait for a friend for dinner, but he's gonna take too long, so I'll just grab a quick thing to eat at Lawson, very practical. Lawson is one of the most popular convenience stores in Japan. With approximately 14,664 stores nationwide, you can easily purchase snacks and refreshments. You earn both karaage and snacks. Lawson's karaage is very popular in Japan. This is just a snack to make me wait them until the dinner because I have a few hours and I was a bit hungry after all this day. So Lawson is very good for little snacks. Very good, very cheap. Do you often eat it? Yeah, when I have no time or only a few minutes before class or after class, I always stop at this Lawson, get chicken, some snacks, and everything is good again. Yoan has returned to the student dormitory. Tonight, he celebrates his girlfriend's birthday in France. Have a great time, Yoan. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video. Dari, Japan.